Recently, I found myself listening to an artist I used to thoroughly enjoy back in my years of more youth. I'm still in my years of youth, but I was like six when I used to love her, and I used to play her all the time. And I just don't like her new songs. I'm sorry, and I know there's going to be some Swifties in my comments, like, what to beep. And you know, I used to be like that. Anytime I was at my little kindergarten class, and people were like, why do you like Taylor Swift? She only writes about her boyfriends and her ex-boyfriends and boys and boys and boys. Because it's good. It's good music. I like her old songs now. I just don't like the new ones. So then I was wondering, like, what changed so much that I don't like her songs anymore? Like, so much to a point where I cannot listen to them at all. But then I was listening to her old songs, and keeping that question in mind, I realized nothing's really changed. She sings about pretty much the same things, and her tunes have evolved a little bit, but they have the same general vibe. What's changed? The answer is me. I've changed. I've grown, and I'm a, I'm a bigger, better person. I'm grown up, and now that that's in my past, I look back on it with nostalgia. Listening to it, and thinking about it, and thinking about a time that was a lot more simple. I was literally six. But then that also had me wondering, how can nostalgia make me feel an entirely different emotion when I'm listening to the same person making the same music? And so I did a little bit of research, and I found out a lot of crazy things about nostalgia. Nostalgia today is revered in a generally positive sense and people associate it with generally positive feelings reminiscing is nice for some people it's like you're hearing a song that you heard when you were like six and you really enjoyed it and you're like wow i was six and i really enjoyed that however it hasn't always been such a positive thing <laughs> in the medical field it used to be this really deadly sickness to many um which was basically just a really severe case of homesickness way back in the 1600s Doctor... Hofer coined the term nostalgia by combining two Greek roots, um, which were nostos, which means homecoming, homecoming, and algos, which means pain, homesickness. It was used to describe a lot of cases where people would feel pain thinking about home when they were away for long periods of time, they'd fall really ill, and die. Nobody knew what was going on for the longest time, so Hofer decided to coin the term medically so that there wouldn't be any more anomalies or unknown causes of death, um, and they were able to put that case to rest. However, it's still been really confusing. Up until the 90s, they were still doing research on it, and they did a study on a little French boy. Un petit garçon français. Because when he was healing from a sickness, he had a nurse that he stayed with the entire time from sickness until health. And then when he went back home, his parents noticed he was really sad and down and he was like sick and he was pretty much ill all over again. When they had called the hospital again, they were recognizing the patterns and symptoms of nostalgia. And so they sent the nurse back and he was better. In cases as early as 1994, people would still be diagnosed with an extreme case of homesickness, nostalgia, as their cause of death. And it's so weird to see such a positive shift in the past 30 years. Many actively seek out feelings of nostalgia now. I do too. It's often that I sit there and I want to reminisce about songs or things that I did in my past and buy things or partake in things that'll invoke feelings of nostalgia. And I know a lot of my friends do the same. So I was talking to a few of them and I took, took mental note and some do feel that homesick feeling, that sinking feeling still to this day. Her name's Michaela, and we were recently talking about nostalgia, and I knew I was making a little video essay on it, so I was like, hey, why does it make you feel so negatively? Nostalgia is literally the most gut-wrenching feeling anybody could ever experience, because I don't sit there and think back to like a year ago or smell a scent that I used to wear or like see a place that I used to hang out at and think, oh my gosh, I have so many good, cute memories there. I don't think that. When that sh happens, it's literally heart aching. Like it's 
gut-wrenching to think that I will never be where I was in that moment ever again. Like, I lived it, and now it's over, and it's just never coming back. And who knows if I'll ever be that happy again. Like, that will never happen again. And even if it did, it will never be with the same people. It'll never be at the same point in my life. Like, just nostalgia is so painful to think about. I don't know how people like it because I would do anything to relive certain moments, and I just can't. Oh my god, I'm gonna cry! So someone like her actively avoids the feeling of nostalgia. So then I went and talked to one of my cousins who also grew up with me, obviously. Because she'll send me pictures of when we were little and be like, Oh my gosh, look at us. We're so cute. Blah, blah, blah. And so I was like, hey, how do you feel about nostalgia? And she has like mixed feelings. She kind of hates it and kind of loves it. Again, she brings up that sinking defeat feeling where she's not able to go back to that time and she knows she's not able to go back to that time but she can still reminisce on that time and feel positively about it it's in her past but it's still a part of her whenever she wants to return to that time she will she'll go to her mom's facebook or my mom's facebook and she'll look up pictures from when we were like six and then i was thinking to myself why do i feel so positively about nostalgia there's so many people who absolutely hate it and actively avoid it so what makes me love it and seek it out 24 7 pretty much it's in the back of my mind whenever i do anything and whenever i'm listening to music i always have to go back to at least one song that reminds me of when i was little and my dad would be going in the little public gym downstairs and i'd hear some of his music and i'd be like it's constantly in the back of my mind and i do things that remind me of my past constantly and so i wondered What's the difference <laughs> compared to someone who hates it, someone who's indifferent to it, and someone who loves it? And honestly, I think it's just personal interpretation. I look back on the past and I don't long to go back to it. I've been looking forward to this age since I was literally six years old. I don't wanna go back. Personally, I don't have much else to say on the matter of nostalgia. I enjoy it and I don't have any like new revelations to add to it. Sometimes it feels good to reach out to some old friends that you had back in like first or second grade. I recently just talked to one of my friends from fifth grade and we talked about a Pokemon book I stole from him and it felt really nice. I haven't talked to him since literally fifth grade. I like hearing that other people think about those times as well and look at them positively even though he may have been the victim in that situation. Maybe even just keeping like an old toy from when you were like really young because I have this old elephant somewhere from when I was like, I think literally like three months old. Um, my parents bought it for me. It was like one of those rice ones where like, it like flops. Like if you set it down, um, like the arms are floppy, the legs are floppy, the whole body's floppy, like the head flops. And I still actively seek those toys out. If I have an option between like a normal stuffed animal and one of those ones, I'm choosing one of those ones.